This is a really exciting time to be doing the research because we have many new tools and technologies available to do research, and we have greater access to patient materials. Our first mission is to provide exceptional patient-centered care for individuals with diabetes and endocrine diseases so that we can really find out the genetic events that are occurring in patients and develop personalized treatment. Are we making a change in clinical practice? Are the ideas that we're proposing better than the current standard of care? Our second mission is to advance knowledge through clinical, basic, and translational research. The Division of Endocrinology has invested a lot in bringing researchers to the department. So the research in my lab is is focused on cellular proteins called G-protein coupled receptors. Targeting these receptors has a potential to improve both beta cell function, which is insulin secretion, and beta cell growth and survival. And right now there are no therapies that actually directly target beta cell growth or survival. So that's one of the things that's missing in the diabetes treatment plan that we're hoping we can ultimately build on. Part of what we do is try to train the next generation of scientists as well. So that's a big part of our mission is to teach people how to do good research. Well, one measure of success is, is really seeing students and postdocs and trainees learn how to do experiments. We offer not only comprehensive training in all aspects of endocrinology, but individualized mentoring and research, whether that research is clinical research, basic research, or translational research. I think my colleagues and I in the division where our goal is to get our research out. To help us all live happier, more productive, more independent lives. How do you turn it off? Yeah, I cannot turn off my excitement for diabetes research. That's a problem for me. <laughs> Physicians, scientists, investigators with different expertise, different backgrounds working together to come up with new diagnostic approaches and new therapies for metabolic diseases like diabetes.